welcome back. This is video number 4 on learning Inkscape and this time we're going to talk about how to create triangles and I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. First one would be to simply create a square first or a rectangle. Let me get rid of the stroke here. So I click at the left bottom, go to stroke style and set the width to zero. So now we can turn that into a triangle. But we can't just select one of these anchor points. At first we need to convert it into a path. So make sure it's selected. Then go to path and object to path. If you now double click on it, the second tool is activated and you can click on one of the nodes. If you just delete them, you'll get this effect. You need to select it, then hold Ctrl and press the delete key. And that's the way to create a triangle. If you use the cursor tool, click on it, you can resize it. If you click once more on it, you can rotate it. It's an easy way to do that. The second way is to use this drawing tool, kind of like the pen tool in Illustrator. Just connect three of the nodes. And if you want to give it a fill, let me just select one of these four colors at the bottom. It has a stroke. So if you want to fix that, once again, open the stroke style, set the width to zero. A third way is to use the polygon and stars tool. Make sure the corners are set to 3. You want to have a 0 for rounded and randomized. So that should be the easiest way. If you use the star tool and not the polygon, it has the same effect, but you have to make sure that the spoke ratio is 0 0.5. So you can see what that does from 0 to 1. So make sure it's set to 0 0.5 when you want to have that triangle. Rounded, it doesn't create rounded corners. Instead, it does this. So it does it in both directions. Make sure it's set to zero. If you want to create rounded corners on your triangle or on a rectangle, on any shape, there's one way to do it. Let me select this one. Just give it a stroke. Let me change that to pixels and I make it round join. Let me increase the size a little bit. And now you can see that we've got this rounded triangle, but we've still got a stroke and the fill as different elements of this object. So go to path and stroke to path. Then go to path again, combine. And once more, path and break apart. Now keep in mind that it's now two shapes. So hold Alt, select the first one, drag it out of there. Hold Alt, select the second one and just press the delete key to get rid of it. A fourth way is to just go to extensions, render and there you've got a triangle button. But I think the polygon and stars tool is the easiest way to create one. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.